Hi there, I'm Rick. Uh, I'm an old guy. I know, big surprise. Uh, see, this is really what you think of when social media, old guy, you know, he's, he's got the big phone, he's t- saying, oh, uh, how do I tweet to Facebook, you know. He's all... <sighs> I've been online a long time. Uh, my first job paying was for CompuServe, which, uh, for those of you who don't know, is kind of the eight-track tape of social media. <laughs> People used to pay six bucks an hour to go online and argue with each other which should have gave us all an indication that the world is filled with jerks. Like this thing, 10 items or less. It's an easy concept, and yet people, they don't see this as a guidance, they see this as a personal challenge. (laughs) Sort of like, oh, I can get 14 in here, screw the world. And so that's really one of the things I've learned. It's, you, want to, you want to talk to the jerks, right? You're online, you want to interact with them, and you, you want to convince them you're right, and then the next thing you know, you're talking conspiracies, and you know, they're, they're making passive-aggressive comments about your grammar. And If one thing I've learned over the 20 years, no one really wants to hear your inner voice. I mean, I don't know if you've ever read Larry King's tweet, you know, his whole Twitter thing, it's like, oh, Brussels sprouts are the most unforgiving vegetable of all, and... The thing about inner voices is you have these stories that you want to tell, you know, and, and no one else really wants to hear them. I, I, we've all had this experience on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. It's, it's you know, oh, I've got this another story about my, uh, my childhood pet. Oh, shoot me now. Um, <laughs> not that I'm antisocial, but people sometimes, they, yep, this is not a happy group of people. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, 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 here's the thing. Sharing emoji, I, we all love emojis, all right? There's a lot of good reasons to use them. Oh, John Oliver's on this week. Ooh, happy face, happy face. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of occasions people use them in the wrong situations. You know, uh, oh, sorry, I accidentally slept with your roommate. Uh, sad face, sad face. You know? <sighs> I mean, <they're, laughs> you just have to pick and choose your moments. <laughs> that's, that's really what it gets down to. And, and I think that's one of the things I learned over 20 years. People just sometimes, not like this guy. You use emojis, and it goes horribly wrong, and then there's nothing you can do about it. I don't even know what to say to this. (laughs) Uh, So, you know, the the thing is, maybe my piece of advice is, if you're going to do anything, think like the five seconds, because... You don't want to make a mistake. There's nothing worse than you, you press the button and send, and then the next thing you think goes, oh, crap, what did I do? You remember this thing? And, and the thing is, when you make this big of a mistake, there's no coming back from it. You know, you can't just kind of go, oops, sorry, I, I, I confused two African-American actresses and I'm a moron. No, you just got to look for a job in sales. <laughs> Instagram. All right, Instagram's like the WWE. It's a bunch of buff people, and they're having pretend real-life experiences. I'll give you an example. Taylor Swift, you may remember this from, it's for, she's on the beach, you know, she's, oh, we were having a great time, a little vacation, a little private moment to ourselves. Okay, if that's the case, who took the damn picture? It's fate, unless you know, she's got like a 60-foot selfie stick, but I don't know. What else here? Uh, I guess I, one of the things I've learned is that really being online social media is kind of like a party. You know, there's people that you want to get away from as quickly as possible. If, for whatever reason, I don't know. Trump supporters, uh, Coldplay fans, I don't know, whatever it is. <laughs> and and you've got to come up with that, that online version of, I'm sorry, I've got to go to the bathroom. Because otherwise, you get sucked into this talk. And since you're online, you have to interact with them. You know, it's like, oh, really? You dress up like My Little Pony every weekend, you know? What do your kids think, you know? Uh... You should always, I think, admit that you're wrong. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. And if you have a really entertaining story, that can be great, you know, particularly if you make up the story. Although, I guess that really has its own set of problems. Uh, you should, and the thing is, when you apologize, you should apologize in the right way. I mean, you, you have to have some sort of, uh, you know, oh, I accidentally uh, slept with your roommate. My bad doesn't really cover it. You know, that's just, and then uh, I guess really my philosophy about being online, uh, I always ask myself, what would Kanye West do? And then I try to do the opposite. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and here's the future as, as we go into this, what's coming up next? Virtual reality. Yet, 
they have actually figured out a way that in the future we will be able to interact with jerks in 3D. So hopefully Facebook won't invent smell o vision And I uh, appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.